on the morning of March 24th at precisely 6.13 a.m., I got probably the most disturbing message that I've ever had in my years of being an Airbnb host. I received photos of bloody hands and toes and also a lot of shattered glass throughout my condo unit. And with this, my guest Oliver, that's not his real name, told me that there has been an accident in my unit. As Airbnb hosts, these incidents are exceptions, but we have to be ready for them. A lot of things raced through my head. First and foremost, is my guest going to be okay? And second, who's going to be paying for this very big damage? If you are curious to know about what I did and perhaps readying yourself just in case you encounter a similar incident, stick around for the rest of the video. And as always, let's go. Hey guys, what's up? I'm Mark and in this channel, I talk a little bit about lifestyle, but I mostly talk about business and investments. I've done a number of videos on how to get your Airbnb started and giving you tips so that you can be a successful and profitable Airbnb host. And if you want to be an Airbnb host but don't have the time, I may be able to help you out on that. If you click on this link here and the one down below, you can actually sign up here, leave your details, and I will get back to you. I've already been able to do this with some of you, my viewers. We have become business partners in running your property as an Airbnb. So if you're interested, please feel free to reach out. Anyway, let's go back. As mentioned, I'm sharing here with you one of the more frightening experiences that I've had as an Airbnb host. Not only was I really worried about my guest Oliver, but also I was faced with the fear of another big expense of having to replace my glass shower door. So let me recount the events of that fateful morning of March 24th and spoiler alert, yes, Airbnb actually reimbursed me for this, so it was quite a sizable sum. There were a lot of steps along the way, so let me guide you through those steps, and again, the matter that I took in handing the guest so that I could be in the situation where Airbnb would be helping me out. So let's go back to the messages and pictures sent by Oliver at 6.13 a.m. The first thing that I did was to contact Oliver and he told me that he just contacted Grab to buy a few supplies and a first aid kit. Oliver actually asked me if he could move to any other listings that I have. Unfortunately, since this was very last minute, I didn't have any listings available. So what I promised Oliver was that I was going to be coming in. I just needed to find a cleaner and also a heavy-duty vacuum to be able to clean up all the broken glass. So it was around 10.30 a.m. when the cleaner and I finally arrived at the condo. So I quickly checked on the damage. But for the most part, I really wanted to talk to Oliver. And because of the inconvenience, I wanted to do two things. So the first thing that I wanted to tell Oliver was that I was going to cover the first aid kit and other supplies that he purchased, including the fees for Grab Express. So even though I thought that Oliver would be somehow liable to the damages here, I didn't want to focus on that. I of course felt the responsibility of not having my place perhaps as foolproof or maybe as unbreakable as it should have been. I didn't want to go into a worst case scenario where the guest would be very frustrated. Perhaps he was going to charge me subsequent hospital charges or whatsoever. The costs of the medicines and supplies were actually a lot more than what I was expecting. So for this guest's stay, my profit margins were a lot slimmer. But anyway, um, I didn't want to focus on that. And the second thing that I wanted to cover when I spoke to Oliver would be letting him know that I was going to try and get Airbnb's help in seeking a reimbursement for the said damages. So these are actually one of the best features of the Airbnb platform. The Resolution Center is where a guest and a host can ask for additional fees which they feel may be due to them because of one inconvenience, damage, or whatever. The Resolution Center actually falls under a bigger program of Airbnb called AirCover. This is sort of Airbnb's insurance in trying to work with hosts and protect hosts from damages such as this. So even though that this program is in place, why did I feel like this was a sensitive process? Well, I told Oliver that I would actually file this incident, but the initial filing would make it seem like that I'm actually requesting a reimbursement from him as my guest. So I told him that this was the process of Airbnb that I didn't want him to get put off 
or perhaps annoyed that I was trying to get money from him, the incident and the reimbursement request would be asked of from him but I wasn't expecting for him to personally reimburse this so this was just part of the process before Airbnb would come in and actually look into the matter if they can in fact reimburse the damages from the said incident. So with AirCover and the Resolution Center, you actually have to file your request within two weeks or 14 days of the guest checkout. So more or less, I had until April 9th to be able to file the request. So within those two weeks, I tried to get my vendor in. The tricky part was that I was continuing to host guests during this time. By the end of two weeks, I actually didn't have the formal quotation yet from the supplier because we only had a few chances between guest checkout and guest check-in where the supplier could come in and take measurements and assess the damage. I actually ran out of time. So by April 9th, even though I didn't have the formal quotation yet, I just gave my best estimate to Airbnb. So I filed this request, an amount of 20,000 pesos. And before doing this on April 9th, I actually sent a text message to Oliver saying that I was just about to file the request. Again, I told him I did not expect him to be paying for this personally. So I told him that when the request for reimbursement comes in, that he should just decline it. Once a guest declines or after three days of not hearing from the guest, you can actually involve Airbnb in the process. So there's the involve Airbnb button. So after filing the request and Oliver declined, I involved Airbnb in the process. When I got to this step, I actually got the formal quotation already from my glass supplier. So the amount was actually a lot lower than what I was expecting. So it was only for a total of 9,300 pesos. So I changed the request from 20,000 to just 9,300 pesos. So this actually took some time. I was just getting emails from Airbnb every three days or so saying that they are still investigating the matter, that they are looking into it. Fast forward to April 28th. So almost three weeks later, I got a very pleasant email from Airbnb telling me that my request was approved. They are immediately crediting 9,300 pesos into my account by May 4th, if I'm not mistaken. So I got a full reimbursement for the said incident. But of course, I didn't get any reimbursement for shouldering Oliver's first aid kit and medical supplies. So even though it took almost three weeks from the time of filing, it was actually quite smooth. I was expecting Airbnb to give me a call to present more proof. I think it went smoothly because they got all the facts from Oliver. And I think he really gave me a lot of help as well because of how I handled the situation. So I guess my prioritization of his well-being was appreciated. So that gave him the confidence to be able to work with Airbnb. So I guess that's the first tip that I could give. Work with your guest and, you know, uh, don't antagonize them further. Even if you feel that they may be liable. Also because I had the paperwork, the documentation in place. That's what Airbnb used as basis for the reimbursements. And then lastly, I shared with you that I was continuing to host guests. Despite parts of the shower door missing, so the design of my shower door is that it's actually two. So the one at the back broke. So uh, I was able to keep uh, the front part. So what I did for upcoming guests would be just giving them a heads up, letting them know that uh, there was an unfortunate incident at the property and being straightforward with them, offering them a solution on a refund uh, in case they didn't want to pursue the reservation because of this inconvenience. So again, I'm sharing these with you so that you know what to do in case you encounter a similar or the same incident. So air cover and the resolution center is there. I hope that as Airbnb hosts, we don't abuse the system. I'm sure that the guys at Airbnb also have a finite budget for this. So I'm pretty sure also that Airbnb looks into your previous cases and all the cases that you filed before granting such huge amounts. So I hope you don't encounter anything similar to this but if you do, now you know and you can be ready. So if you are an Airbnb host and you want to share incidents that have been similar where you have been tested and whether you were able to get any support from Airbnb or not, please let me know in the comment section. If you've liked this video, please don't forget to like, comment, and consider subscribing if you haven't already. Thanks again for watching guys and happy Airbnb hosting.